Hey, this is Naga Canario, and we're back for uh, part two of the Pepper Porn for July, end of July, 2015 season. So, I'm going to start over here. Uh, it occurred to me that uh, most of the mustard boots were in the other bag, so I did another pile of those. It was pretty prolific, very hot, kind of an ugly pod, but it's definitely unique. So... Nice ones here. And over here we've got Habanero Jaguar, which is basically just a thicker wall. It's supposed to be more of a disease resistant version of the orange. They're a lot heavier than your typical orange halves that you would get from a Home Depot or whatever. And over here is Chocolate Bootla F3 from the seeds that I grew out last year. As you can see, prolific. Nothing huge because I didn't get them into a, a big container, but you know, they are what they are. They're still the real deal. And by the way, uh, all you guys that are thinking you're going to buy some of these from these people that are BSing you, that's exactly what you're getting is BS. So you can either be patient or you can go on the route that you're going and uh, and get bullcrap. But these right here are the real deal. Seeds came from Stephen himself, so uh, I know I should keep my mouth shut about it because it's not my pepper and all that, but it just pisses me off to see all these people lying to other people and saying they got it and when they don't, and trying to sell them seeds that are going to be bullcrap, so yeah. The way the industry goes sometimes, but anyway, as you can see there, they're growing true. And over here is Kumari do Para, real nice chinens from Brazil, one of my favorite pods. They just bunch away on these. They're good for everything. Great flavor. These are labeled as HP 50 Death Strain. Look pretty similar to Reaper. Not truthful. Not truthfully sure if this is an incorrect phenotype or an off phenotype or what. You know, Stephen had the seeds in his uh, in his uh, folder. And I thought, okay, it'll be cool to grow those. You know, another thing I can't give out because Ed Curry hasn't released it and. I heard he may never, so, yeah, it's not really mine to give out, but at least you can see him. Over here we got seven pod rennies. Real nice gnarly pods. These are spoken to. These are going to a friend here uh, in a few hours. I'll put them in the mail. So, I'm not going to out the guy or out his business, because he's a... Uh, Cool dude and a friend of mine, so anyway, these are going his way pretty soon. So, and over here is my Savannah 7, the bumpier ones. See, pretty nice here, pretty big. I got a couple plants that go smooth and longer, elongated, like the ones I sent to uh, T. Heat and uh, Michael, and then got the bumpier one. Maybe I'll send them these next. <laughs> so. Anyway, plenty of those. Over here, these were... This was listed as... it's The thing said Black Panther, but it's obviously a Naga. I mean, it's most likely Naga Morange. But, you know, people like to <laughs> sugarcoat some things. And over here we got uh, Chocolate 7 Pot Lava. These are also going with these in the mailbox today. So... These are hot. Little chocolate bubble gum, or I mean a little red, red bubble gum here. And pink tiger. As you can see, not really defined stripes or anything, but you know, they taste good, they produce good, and the plant's cool, so no complaints there. More caramel boots. I didn't have a lot of caramel boots in the bag for the first video, so. Just going to show you. We've got plenty of those. Thanks, Roberto, again for sending me that. And over here we got the most interesting thing of the bunch. I'm going to sit down for this one because this is crazy. Uh, Chad Seleski is part of the uh, Pepper, Nerds, Pepper Nerds group with Steven, Jack Chapman, myself, and Rick, Statesney, and you know some other guys. It's just a really good group, and we were fortunate enough to be able to grow the chocolate bootla you know 
last year was my first year growing that. And Chad Selesky is one of the guys from there. He uh, he grew it out and crossed it and did all kinds of crazy stuff with it and sent me. He's, there was all kinds of variants. And uh, one that he sent me to grow out was uh, SBAF Chocolate Bootla Turned Red. And a funny thing happened with one of the plants. As you can see, they are huge, gnarly, and this is in a five gallon bucket too. This is in the Home Depot, Home Depot bucket. They're huge, gnarly, bumpy, and they are peach. So I'm gonna bring this to Chad's attention today because I think it's pretty cool and it might lead to there being a peach bootla on the horizon. So as you can see, that's just one pod. They're all all pretty good size, pretty gnarly and bumpy. I'd been seeing it in the garden and I saw them start to turn peach and I, there's so many plants to keep track of and keep take care of this year that, you know, it was just like, what is that? I, I didn't plant anything peach with peach in the name or peach colored or anything like that. What is that? And finally today I figured out what it was. Got a good amount of pods off of it and yeah. That really makes me excited. As you can see, just gnarly, bumpy. It's, yeah, I mean, looks like the bootla, the chocolate bootla, but it's peach colored. And I'm afraid I might have to be eating one of these soon, or, yeah, because I don't, I can't really send it out except for back to the pepper nerds guys, so I'll probably get stuck eating it, or maybe Steven will do it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. SBAF Chocolate Bootla turned red, now turned peach. So. You never know what the year is going to bring. It's full of surprises. But anyway, I'm going to go back and forth and let you take it all in again. Anyway, to my buddy that needs the seven pods, those, and those, and some more will be coming your way today. Should be there in maybe three days. So, anyway, <laughs> just, 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 just good. Anyway, that is your pepper porn for right now. There will be other episodes coming, and because uh, there's just so much out there. So, anyway, everybody take care.